Well, hey everyone, my name is James and I'm the worship leader here. We want to welcome you to our church. And we're about to begin with worship, so please silence your devices. We have some things coming up we want to invite you to, so take a look. You know, December is a time for giving gifts, eating Christmas treats, and spending time with friends and family. So that's why this week is packed with Christmas parties to enjoy fellowship with your church family. Now to keep it all straight, I made a list and I checked it twice. Wow, if you look at this, it seems like we have a party for just about every ministry and age, so take a look. Beginning tonight, we have the preteen and youth parties. Tuesday, the older, wiser Lutherans of the Owls are getting together at Olive Garden. Friday is the 30s and 40s party at the Bachin Manor. Saturday, the men are getting together for breakfast, and that evening, the Lutheran Adult Fun and Fellowship, or the Laugh Group, is getting together in the Fellowship Hall. And finally, the under 30s party is next Sunday. Now you can get all the details in your bulletin or also at stmarkphx.org. But wow, you really have to see, there's a lot going on this week and there is a group for you. There's nothing better than a gingerbread house for the holidays because, well, it's a house made entirely of cookies and candy. Well, actually there's probably one thing that is better. Rather than making a house, let's make a nativity scene that tells the story of Jesus. Next Sunday, we're having our Christmas adventure where you can bring your family and friends to make a gingerbread nativity. Everything's provided, including lots and lots of candy, and it's completely free. We'll see you there. In my family for the holidays, we make a gingerbread house from scratch, we watch Christmas movies, and we also set up snow village houses. Now these things are fun and they're also memorable for our kids, but as we're checking off the list of Christmas traditions this year, we actually realized one thing. We didn't have anything about the baby Jesus. Oops, how funny is that that you have a whole season dedicated to celebrating the birth of Jesus and it's easy to make it about everything but Jesus. Well, how do you keep Christ in Christmas? Well, one easy way is to spend an hour Christmas Eve in a special service where you'll get to worship Jesus through Christmas music, hear a message that talks about how Jesus really is the best gift in the world, and also we get to close out the evening with candlelight. Now this is one of my favorite services of the year, and it really helps us focus on Jesus this Christmas. Bring your family and also invite your friends or neighbors who don't have a place to worship. You know, studies say that this is the time of year that people are really open to attending a church for the first time in a while or even ever. So this week, reach out to them and invite them. In your bulletin, you'll find a welcome card. Please fill it out and place it in the offering basket later in service. And we want to be praying for you, so in your seat back, you'll find a prayer card that you can also place in the offering basket. And if you're new here, we especially want to welcome you and thank you for checking us out. At the Welcome Center, we have a gift for you, so after service, come on by and we'd love to meet you. And this month, we are gearing up for Christmas and prepping to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We hope that you connect to God and receive His promises in your life. Thanks again for being here.